Hi guys, I'm Charlie of Charlie Book Fanatic and this is my boyfriend Michiel and today we are actually going to do a wrap up of the books we have read in the last couple of months because we certainly made a lot of progress with the books we have read. I'd say we also did the DNF too, but we will come to that later. But the first book we actually managed to read and we actually want to do a single review of but never managed to do, which is why we're doing a wrap up now, is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is about a character called Cadence who goes to this island every summer with her family. Her grandfather owns this island. It's basically a mystery and we're figuring out what happened to Cadence during her last summer there because she hasn't been in a couple of years and she's there with her cousins and a guy she fell in love with a couple of years ago. And that's basically the, all of it. It's a very short book and we enjoyed it, I think. I know I did I enjoy it. I really enjoyed it too. I've read this before and we actually reread it because I want my boyfriend to read it because if you have read this book you know there is a huge plot twist at the end of it and I wanted to see if my boyfriend would guess it and he didn't and he was very shocked and it was very fun to see. Very amusing. I, I then out of then would see it again. <laughs> it was cool. Next book! <laughs> Next book we tried to read was You by Caroline Kepnes and You is written in first person but it's written to you like a letter talking to you so it will be written as you I saw you walking outside my window it's very creepy it follows a stalker who does very crazy things to get to the woman he loves but he's basically obsessed with her he uses very vulgar language. It's a very disturbing book, I'd say. A lot of people say they sympathize with the main character, but I didn't sympathize with him. Did you? No. I <laughs> honestly did not see anything there. He was just creepy and just stalking this woman and this woman's ex-boyfriend. He did a lot of shitty things. We didn't finish this book. I, re I read it before and I did finish it, but... Together we have actually DNF this book because it was just not for us. I hated it the first time I read it and I could not get through it again. My boyfriend didn't like it either. The way it was written was very cool, wasn't it? The way I liked the way it was written. Uh, I thought it even had something cool uh, because some parts were kind of repetitive but you really didn't like that. Nope. But I liked the way it was written to you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like one of my favorite books ever, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, is written the exact same way. And I, I don't know, I really like that format, but just in this book it didn't work for me. And last time I didn't notice the, the repetitiveness, but this time it was very obvious. Like sentences would be so long and there would be end, 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 end in the sentences and it just didn't work for me this time around. It's very sad, but yeah, that's the way it is. That was just creepy. Yeah, he was. I, I don't know. I don't see how people could sympathize with him, to be honest. It's it's terrible. It's, he's not a sympathetic character. I don't get it. I don't get what kind of people did sympathize with him because he Murderous. was a psychopath. <laughs> 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 then we tried to read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which, which is the first book in a used to be trilogy, but now a longer series by Ransom Riggs. This book sounds very exciting. I haven't read it before, my boyfriend hadn't read it before, so we tried it. Miss Peregrine follows a guy, a 16 year old guy I believe named Jacob, who goes back to Wales where his grandfather used to live during his childhood because his grandfather was killed and Jacob can't come to terms with it. But then on in Wales he finds this house where his grandfather used where his grandfather used to live and all of these children that used to live there and Jacob finds out that these children are actually still alive and are still children. I don't know what to think about this book. We tried reading it, we've read a good part of it, but then we skim read it. I actually looked up spoilers because I want to know how it ended and I want to know if it, if it was worth it to get through. And I said to my boyfriend, uh, I don't think this is worth it. And then I spoiled him too because he wants to be spoiled. We just didn't really like Miss Peregrine's because we thought it was kind of boring. Like the beginning chapters of Miss Peregrine's were very interesting and exciting. And then all of a sudden it got very slow towards the middle and nothing really happened. You just saw Jacob basically falling in love with his grandfather's ex-girlfriend. And it was <laughs> really, really weird. And that was all you were seeing. You were seeing these children with all the different powers, but you weren't really getting any plots, really. The romance felt really forced yeah. to begin with. And um, the back of the book kind of yeah. told you everything what was happening in like the first 150, 200 pages. So that was... Exactly. That was like of most of the first book. The moment he got to the place where the children were, was like over half of the book for sure. 
Yeah, definitely. Really it was sad. all in the back of the book. Uh, you could you could really feel this first book was a setup book in the series, and nothing really happened. Maybe a lot will happen in the second book and the third book, but this first book was too boring for us. I feel like, and that really ruined it because we aren't really interested in continuing on with this series. So sorry, Ransom Riggs. Then we also went out and bought a manga, and we didn't really expect to buy a manga <laughs> but we did anyway and uh, since we were buying a manga i saw one i was very much interested in and that was pride and prejudice this is written by stacy king and the original story is obviously by jane austen but this was so cute i've read pride and prejudice before it's not my favorite story by jane austen you haven't read pride and prejudice before what did you think about the story i really like the story i must admit though i don't think i would have liked it as much as it was really in book form so yeah. it really helped that it was just a manga and pictures and we flew through it because the first time we read like a third of the book then... Yeah, and then we suddenly finished it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know, I feel like these mangas are a very accessible way for someone who maybe isn't all that into reading at first or maybe just can't really get into the way uh, classics are written because they are so old. And this manga is of recent years, so the author has really rewritten the story to make it more accessible, to make it m more understandable for the average reader, I guess. I really liked the way uh, they made the mother look and the <laughs> way the mother acted was also pretty cool. So I think in the actual book, the mother's just also kind of a cool character, but I think the faces they drew really uh, fitted the way she acted. There were some faces in this that were pretty funny, pretty cartoonish, you know, it was, it just made it a lot more fun, a lot more light-hearted, and Brian Bridges is just a very serious book overall, except for Elizabeth's mother. Elizabeth's mother is a very funny character, but it doesn't really show through a lot throughout the book, and I feel in this manga she was a continuously funny character, like you're always laughing about her antics and her wanting to marry off her daughters, and only caring about her daughters being married well to a wealthy someone, and especially her not liking Darcy very much, and then suddenly hearing that Darcy had asked for Elizabeth Elizabeth hand in marriage and then her all of a sudden being like oh but he has a lot of money though well Elizabeth go on then <laughs> I don't know I just think that is very funny if you don't know what Prime Prejudice is about it's basically a romance like all of Austen's books between Elizabeth and Darcy there's also a plot twist in here between well I'm not going to say between between who, but there's also a plot twist in here and it ha doesn't really have anything to do with Darcy and Elizabeth, kind of, but it is a very, it's one of Arson's more interesting books, I believe, because a lot more happens in this book than her other books. But yeah, I quite like this one. I've also seen the YouTube adaptation, which I also really like because there was a lot of diversity in that. And I just really like the story and seeing it in different formats. So this was a really good pick for me and apparently also for my boyfriend so we are definitely going to pick up more mangas from manga classics the last book we are going to be talking about today is genuine fraud by e lockhart we picked this book because we were both so excited about e lockhart after we were liars and genuine fraud is her newest book it's about two girls called imogen and jewel they are best friends and the book basically starts at the end of the story and then continues on uh, going through time. So you're basically seeing how the story ended up and then you're going throughout the book and you're seeing So you're slowly going to the part where it all started and the end of the book is basically the last chapter Is the real ending of the story so you have to wait all the way through this book to see the real ending of the story But this one was a crazy story a lot happened in this like a lot of strange things like bizarre But it also disappointed us. I feel like Okay, I really loved the entire gimmick and the way the story uh, gave you new pieces of what had already happened before, actually. Um, but for both of us, it was really uh, disappointing how the book ended. The plot wasn't really all that uh, different from what we expected, and we really hoped for a plot twist, but there wasn't that much of a plot twist, in my opinion. No, there were some interesting parts throughout the story where we thought it was really interesting and really fascinating and we wanted to continue and know more. But then the end of the book was just disappointing because it ended on a note where we were like, but well, what was the point of this book? Like, there was yeah. no real point to this entire book. And that was kind of not what 
I was used to from Ilocca. Like after we were liars, she had to come with something really good because we were liars was so mind blowing. And then she came with genuine fraud, and genuine fraud in comparison to we were liars is just it's not it. It's just it doesn't compare really. The entire gimmick was cool, but. The idea I had of the gimmick at first was actually cooler than the plot, in my opinion. Yeah, you had a really <laughs> cool idea. And I don't know, it's, his idea sounded so cool. And I was actually expecting the idea to come true throughout this book, but it just didn't. And Iloka went for a safer thing, even though it also didn't make one of the characters look very good. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much because you really don't know anything at the beginning of the story. But yeah, I would still say this is worth picking up because it was still an interesting and definitely a fun read. Uh, there are some disturbing things in here, so I would definitely warn you for that because there there is some murder in here like it's very graphic murder i'd say so yeah I, I would warn you for that if you can't stand it i would not read this book but aside from that i still think you you should pick this up maybe if you haven't read we were liars yet please pick this one up first and then read we were liars because we were liars will seem even greater than than it really is so those are our reviews for all of the books we've read in a couple of in the last couple of months i hope you enjoyed this video i hope my boyfriend enjoyed filming this video yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching oh also let us know down below what you think about any of these books we just talked about do you want to read any of these books we would love to know again thank you for watching goodbye bye